It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see a pair of teams who call Chicago home in the NFL's earliest days. It's the Chicago Bears and the Arizona Cardinals, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of the Cardinals, State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, partner. A couple of teams that were cellar dwellers a year ago, but as we've seen being around the league for a while, man, that can change one season to the next. And how often do we see, Mike, a team that finished at the bottom of their division just a year later be the division champion? I'm not suggesting that it's easy or necessarily that these two teams are going to find themselves in that position. But the NFL is made up of a formula that says you don't have to stay long forever. If you make the right decisions, you can go from worst to first very quickly. The kicker, Chad Ryland, ready to get things started. And off we go from Glendale. DeAndre Carter on the return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. Won the Heisman, he's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent, Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. You're on talent, obviously. But it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's Williams. They'll go underneath to connect on the screen. And they'll get about but still a little work to do now on third down. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. On third and two, it's Williams. That is left side and taken in by Allen. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? A play fake. Now Williams. He'll send this one deep for Aguja. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and Tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. Now the free agent signee from Philadelphia. It's DeAndre Smith. Still fighting. What a run. Shedding tacklers. Picks up nine on the play. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. That one on target to Moore. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. And he's into the end zone. DeAndre Swift, touchdown Chicago. 
Terrific way, Greg, to get this game started. Able to get the opening touchdown and do it with a long run. Mike, anytime you can create explosive plays in the run game, you're definitely going to take it. And they're going to be able to build on those plays as the rest of this game moves along. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. He gets it to go, and the Bears will take a 7-0 lead. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away the return is Greg Gordon he's across the 20 taken down just shy of the 25 the Cardinals come out they're led by their quarterback Kyler Murray first overall pick in 2019 wows you with those highlight plays over the years off the injury Greg the Cardinals quarterback is once again the exciting Kyler Murray Here's what you call a bit of a unicorn of an athlete at the quarterback position. And when healthy, Mike, make no mistake about it. This guy is a flat-out playmaker. He possesses this rare ability with his legs to extend plays as he improvises that it's just hard to coach. But don't let that small stature fool you either. His arm talent, it's up there with some of the best in the league. The knock on him is how careless he can be with the ball at times. He needs to learn the difference between taking calculated risks and reckless ones because if he does that here he has as good a shot to be successful as anybody in this league a good spot here second and a yard they'll go again here to Connor they'll mark him down up at the 44 yard line so you're on the sideline and you're watching the other team go right down the field and score on their first drive. As a play caller, you have to be careful that it doesn't throw you out of your initial plan coming into the game. They wanted to establish some ground game here early, and that's exactly what they did. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Connor. And it is tough to bring down. Good running across midfield, a gain of eight that time. Here's second and two. Off the play fake. Here's Murray. That's the tight end, McBride. 12 yard on that hookup. It's good for a Cardinals first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. They'll go right back to Connor. With good blocking leading the way. He's got the first down inside the 25. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Murray. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. 
The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. Second down, Murray. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. And a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. On first down, Murray. Oh, he doesn't put it away. And the ball's out. But this is taken in by a teammate. I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away. And with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose, pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there to prevent that from being a turnover. Murray now on second down. He's got it at the three. These are the worst. Years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard? Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. Contact up front, and they get one of the defenders to jump. Big play coming up. Third and goal. Connor going to try to pull his way in. And he will not get in the defense. Standing their ground, pushing him back. And it sets up fourth and goal. What can you say about the effort of this defense, Mike? I mean, they find themselves backed up their heels on their own goal line. And not only did they come up with a big third down stop, they take them back for a loss. Brings up fourth down, and wow, they got a chance to make a huge goal line stand. Ryland's kick is good. And the Cardinals are on the board. It's seven to three. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. So Ryland now, following the made field goal, back out to kick this one away. Bayless Jones now on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And he's been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers here in the first half. This defense will need to find a way to key in on him because he's eating them up right now. From 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Williams to throw on second down. This pass caught right side. It's Allen. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. He's got a man, that's D.J. Moore. And they will bring him down 
on the other side of midfield. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll go play action here with Williams. Catch made there by Allen. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Every staff in the league that understands that we have to play a rookie quarterback, regardless of their talent, regardless of how high they were drafted, the ideal situation is to fill that huddle with as many veteran players as possible. The quarterback's going to be young. He's going to make some mistakes. The more veteran, talented guys around him, the easier it is to weather those mistakes. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. And he searches for, for a gain of about five. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. On second down, it's Williams. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Rome Odunze, the one he was looking for. And it's going to be third down. Working out of the gun, and here's Williams. He pulls it in around the five. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. What an impressive drive this has really been. And it's a combination of big plays and third down conversions. Now after that last third down pickup, it's first and goal. They got a chance to finish this really impressive drive and come away with six. A quick slap, looked in by Moore. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. So we'll get a second and goal when we return. It's the Bears off to the early lead. Greg and I back here in Glendale after this. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll try to run with Swift. A dive, and he's in! DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Bears. He had the touchdown catch earlier. This time, he takes it in on the ground. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Dorch now to return it. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. 
Cardinals offense and their veteran running back James Conner set to take over again. They trail now 14 to 3, so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. Start this drive on the ground, and it's Connor. And mark him down up at the 44 yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. On play action, Murray. He'll get it into the hands of Zay Jones. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. They go three tight ends here on first and ten. On the game, this is Connor. Down the sideline, inside the 25. And he'll take this all the way down to the Cardinals' 10-yard line. It's a gain of 26, and it'll set up first and goal. I've always gone by the philosophy, Mike, that the pass sets up the run. And in these last two plays, that's exactly what happened. You hit them with the big pass, they adjust. You soften them up a little bit. You take advantage for the big gain on the ground. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. They'll run it here, and it's Connor. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Again, it'll be Connor. settle for three so they definitely didn't want to have to do that again so really solid drive from start to end and they're finally able to cap it off with a touchdown Chad Ryland now for the extra point he's got it and the Cardinals are back within four. It is 14 to 10. Here's Ryland now. After the TD, he'll send this one away. Carter on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bears offense and DeAndre Swift set to get going again. The lead sits at four. So we'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. It's Williams. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And he's going to get this to the 37-yard line. 
We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half, and just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. Line of scrimmage is the 37 yard line for first and 10. On the bootleg, it's Williams. That is into the hands of Allen downfield. And he'll be out of bounds, but down around the 15 yard line. A big time play for the Bears. A gain of 48. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Operating from the shotgun, it's William. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about, so they got to continue to ride the hot hand, because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Williams to the air once more. Oh, he feels the pressure, and he'll go down back at the six. And that's a big time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that was it right there. Now a third and two. Now Williams. And holding at the two. And they'll stop them just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, pitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense. And he will do it himself. He's in. Touchdown, Chicago. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. The dual threat of the quarterback. When you have one that can run, why not use him, especially down here, Greg? And they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. And in this case, that's exactly what he does, and he's able to take it in himself. On is Santos for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Bears are out to a 21 to 10 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away DJ Dallas now to return and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line the Cardinals offense and their running back set to go once more and he's been a tough man to stop in this first half putting up some big numbers already and remember we haven't even reached halftime yet Set to go now on first and ten. They'll run with Connor. And a good hard run. He would not be denied. Surging forward to pick up eight. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Back to 
throw is Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown, you're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, it's Blake Gillikin to punt for Arizona. The veteran DeAndre Carter deep for Chicago. A fair catch signal and taken at about the 18-yard line. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams and the rest of the Chicago offense. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Williams gonna look to throw it on for his guy. Second down, it's a run with slip. It'll mark him down just shy of the 40. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. It has a similar effect. They pick up a good gain and a first down. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Looking middle and complete with Allen. He'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. And another great throw. And I'll tell you what, Mike, so far today, this certainly does not look like a rookie quarterback. I mean, he is in complete control of this offense. First and 10. I'll give up the middle with Swift. And a good run there. To get him five yards. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. To throw is Williams. This one taken in by Odunze. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. And as we see Rome Odunze come up with a nice completion, Mike, let's remember, he's only one of two guys to rank in the top ten of college football in receiving yards each of the last two seasons. I mean, production, the ability to compete, high point the ball. I mean, those are all boxes that Adunze checks, and everyone around this Chicago Bears organization, they couldn't have been happier with the way this draft fell, and they think they have a superstar in the making here at wide receiver. They get 21 on that one. First down, Chicago. So, Mike, at the core of the successful zone replay is that the quarterback understands which defender is he responsible for. That is the defender they're trying to put in a bind. In this case, he chooses the runner. The quarterback pulls the ball, and he's able to take off for a big game. The Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. What a great run down here inside the red zone, Mike. It's so important that you still can run the ball. Great job here by the back. I thought for a minute he was going to score. He gets it all the way down inside the one, and I wouldn't be surprised 
if they let him finish this drive off. And he will score again. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Bears. What a half he is putting together. That's his third touchdown already. And make it three touchdowns. Now, remember, he caught the one earlier. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And, Mike, this is what every offense is searching for out of the running back position. Can you impact the game equally on the ground as you can through the air? And that's exactly what this guy has done so far today. Santos for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bears add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Torch now to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Cards offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. Working out of the gun, Murray. That's to the fourth overall pick. It's Marvin Harrison Jr. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Second down and three. From the shotgun, it's Murray. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Now Murray. And on third down, that ball incomplete. And this offense just cannot get anything going right now on third down. If you ask any offensive play caller throughout the entire league, Mike, the importance of third down, maintaining possession, making the defense stay on the field and have long extended drives, it is critical to not only scoring points, but ultimately winning in the NFL. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. Out comes Caleb Williams and the rest of this Bears offense. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Williams. That is left side and taken in by Allen. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll have more from Glendale after this. They'll come up here on second down and five. Throwing is Williams. That's complete. It's Odunze. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. This is the connection that Bears fans have been dreaming about since these two guys were drafted in this previous spring's draft. I mean, 
They think they have one of the more formidable young quarterback wide receiver duos in the entire league. Williams, first overall pick. Adunze, number nine. The future looks bright in Chicago. Back to Adunze again. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. A throw on the move is caught. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. Down at the 12. It's first and 10. We're trying to set up the screen here to Swift. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. now it's Cairo Santos for the field goal this about as short as you can get Santos's kick is good and the Bears can attack on three more extending the lead here late in the first half and that's a really nice boost here before the break I mean you work the clock well you're able to steal some points the biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Three seconds, all that remain in this first half as that one's away. And no chance to return this one through the end zone for a touchback. They'll come up here first and ten. Throwing Murray. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He had two touchdowns on the ground and added another on the receiving end for good measure. He was awesome. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. 
And that's where the offense will take over. The Cardinals offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They find themselves down three touchdowns here. Needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. On first down, the drive begins with Connor. And not a whole lot there. Up to about the 25. Here's a second and nine. Running here is Connor. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. Just a little too much east and west there for my liking. I understand what they're trying to do, getting the ball out on the perimeter, but on these early downs, plant your foot and get downhill. Great job by the defense stringing it out, and they're able to force him down for a loss. Now, someone up front moves early. Can't continue to make these mistakes if you're trying to mount a big comeback. That's on Paris Johnson, the tackle. Whoa, things are getting tougher. It's now third and 15. Out of the gun, it's Murray. He got a lot of what he needed, but just not enough. The mark is a couple yards shy of the first down. And here comes fourth down. You can see here, Mike, the impact that sending your receivers deep does to the defense. You add so many layers, and the defense has to get so much depth in their pass coverage, it leaves a lot of room underneath, and that's exactly what the quarterback takes advantage, tucks the ball down, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. A fair catch signal, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The veteran Keenan Allen and the rest of the Bears offense heading out to take over once again. They've definitely outplayed their opponents to this point in the third quarter. They might be looking to grind out some first downs and chew up some valuable time on the clock. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Another run here, another run by Swift. And he's able to sidestep his way forward and pick up four. Third and a yard. They'll try to run for it. It's Swift. And he's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he made it past the yellow line. Yes, he did. It is indeed a first down. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Williams going to keep it on the zone read. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. This defense has had their share of troubles trying to contain this quarterback today, Mike. This time they go to the zone read, the defender goes after the running back, and the quarterback pulls it, keeps it himself, and has a huge gain for a first down. On first down, it's Swift. But Lane closes quickly, a pickup of three. Kaiser White able to make the tackle. They face second down and seven. They'll go again with Swift. He'll pop this ahead for about four. 
But it will set up third down. They will run it over center with Swift. On fourth down, here's the rookie, the Aussie, fourth round pick, Tory Taylor, to punt for Chicago. E.J. Dallas, the return man. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. Running right, it's Connor. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of one. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. And they're going to bring him down. But there is a penalty marker on the field. Second down, Murray. Will look middle and finds McBride his tight end. A tough spot here. Third and long. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. He's going to air this one out for Jones. Jalen Johnson had the good coverage and is able to knock that one away. We see this offense just continue to search for a spark. It's just this entire game. Their execution's just been a little bit off, and... Now here in the second half, they find themselves down by multiple scores. They're going to have to connect on one or two of these big plays if they want to find themselves back in this one. And no return on this one. Fair catch, single four, and take it. This offense ready for their next possession, led by their running back. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Here's Swift. He's going to have a Bears first down. He gets it up past the 30 to the 32. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. That's a short throw caught by Komet. He'll get it up four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's second and six. Off play action. Here's Williams. He got rid of that one quickly before the receiver knew what was going on. That's incomplete. DeAndre Swift, the intended target. And it's going to bring up a third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire 
throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. That's a pair of hookups on this drive. This one goes for 14 yards and a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased, but listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this that on third down or critical moments, that's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's a handoff to Smith. They're struggling to get back to the line of scrimmage. If he gets a yard out of that one, it's second down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each reporting a sack. Offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection. How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. So backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. To throw, it's Williams. Here's a screen taken in by Smith. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. This offense and their running back heading back on the field. And he's had trouble getting on track in this one. Really limited space to find an opening. The defensive front stopping him multiple times. Generally, he has not been a big factor in this game to this point. down. Off he goes. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. A good spot here. Second and a yard. On the zone read, giving to Connor. And he's going to take this past the 45. That's good enough for a first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. On first down, it's Murray. That ball caught, it's Zay Jones. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. This is a gift to Connor running right. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. We'll try and run for this with Connor. We'll take this inside the 40 to the 39, but most importantly, they've got it. That's a first down. The 
will go right back to Connor. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of action. He'll try again here, second and ten. From the gun, it's Murray. Got his receiver on the end cut. He's got it. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike, how well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. They'll look to pick this up. Third and a yard. Here's Murray. He's got his receiver. It's Jones. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Murray going to fire this one out to Harrison. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Here's Connor. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. To throw is Murray. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown. And instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. side with Swift. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. A run here with Swift. Nice run there. He'll be stopped just on the first down. A pickup of nine. 
So when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run game, like I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say, okay, how many yards did they run for? But more importantly, when did those yards come? Did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter, which typically means I had the lead? That's the sign of a successful run game as opposed to getting a lot of meaningless yards early in the game. And that'll give him a first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. Swift. He'll work his way ahead for a game of about four. Here's a second and six. On the ground, it's Swift. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard. That's it. Third and six. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. That's caught. It's the tight end, Everett. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. The most impressive thing about this drive, Mike, has really just been their efficiency. They've just continued to pick up first downs, fresh sets of downs. We just saw there but that third down conversion. Continue to possess the ball. These opportunities to come away with points continue to go up. On the give, it's swift. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Another run here. Another run by Smith. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. from the shotgun, it's Williams. He's got the hook up there to Odunze. A pickup there of 13. Good for a Bears first down. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. First and 10. They'll go play action here with Williams. This is caught two. And he's in. DJ Moore. Touchdown, Chicago. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with. But with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. is Santos for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Bears will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Dorch now to return it and 
he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. First down throw for Murray. And that's going to wind up incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's and with a as well. Murray now on second down. Back to the right side. Cut by McBride. This has been bizarre. From second and a mile, a huge game, but still short of a first down. So often, sacks, especially on first down, can be drive killers. But their ability here to take this from second and long to third and short, they've got a really good opportunity here, Mike. If they don't get it on third, don't be surprised if they go for it on fourth. They get 12 yards on that pass. It's an Arizona first down. You know, it's really been a one-sided game, but how often do we see in the fourth quarter the team that finds themselves down by a lot they start to come alive. I think it's a combination of trying to end the game on a positive note, but also sometimes that defense getting a little lackadaisical. Murray's going to throw again. A quick throw. That's complete on the slant. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. To throw again is Murray. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of midfield. Nice job bouncing back there on second down. First down, they gave up way too many yards and put them in second and short. But now they can gain some of that back with that sack and brings up third and medium and the likelihood of getting off the field just went up. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. From the shotgun, it's Murray. He's got his man. Complete. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12. And a first down. Working out of the gun. Murray. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. falls down you have to be there to make up for it and the pursuit to the ball is not only how they're able to get him down but it's ultimately how they're able to take the ball away LeBear's offense and Caleb Williams set to take over once more and as we take you through some of the highlights so far you're gonna see a lot of passing yards 
He has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Here's a give left side. This is Swift. A oh, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. And this is how you just keep wearing down a defense. You find yourself with a pretty big lead. Now can they just lean on this run game the rest of the way and close this game out with a win? Swift gets it from the pistol. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. Give them 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. 